Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Sequoia Platinum. One of the most notable features on this Platinum is its parking sensors as well as its DVD player and its navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Sequoia Platinum. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Platinum is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look, just at your front bumper you do have your parking sensors. And over on the side you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your running boards. Up top you have your chrome accents as well as your heated mirrors and power folding mirrors. On the inside of the mirror you're going to see your integrated signal lamps as well as your blind spot warning indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now taking a closer look at the front dash as well as the front seats, as you can see, you have your red rock leather into your seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Power tilt telescopic steering wheel with your mirror controls, power folding mirror button. You have your automatic headlights and power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls, along with your window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your seek function, volume control, voice recognition, mode select, Bluetooth, scroll function for your multi-informational display with your lane departure alert and cruise control. It does offer you the push button start, so if you is put on it, your foot on uh, sorry put your foot on the brake hit the push button and we'll start up for you automatically now taking a look at the multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here so scrolling through you have your distance to empty with your digital speedometer on here fuel economy you can also go through and take a look at your compass audio lane departure alert, tire pressure monitoring messages, and your settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features. As you can see, you do have an exterior temperature gauge located on there as well. Taking a closer look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features with your hazard lights. And then going inside your menu screen, You'll see your destination on your phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, inside the apps menu, this is part of the Intune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the uh, sorry, your Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. It has your Sirius XM satellite radio on here with your premium JBL sound system. You have the dual zone climate control settings with your rear temperature controls just located right down below with your heated and cold front seat controls for your driver and passenger. 4x4 select, as you can see you have your tow haul as well. And taking a look just underneath you'll find your USB and your power outlets and it's mounted to an automatic transmission. Up at the top here you'll see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass and then you'll also find the SOS Safety Connect with the open and close as well as the tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof and your sun glass case holder. Now the other nice thing is you do have the DVD player just located in the back here as well which is nice and you have the heated second row captain seats as well. And taking a look at what the backup camera looks like as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall if you're trying to hook up your trailer. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. Connectors for your towing and then on the back of the tailgate you have the backup camera just underneath your Sequoia emblem and your rear hatch release located down below. Now as you can see with the rear cargo space you do have the cargo cover in the back which is nice. And then you have a 60-40 split for the third row and if you want to actually fold down the third row you can actually use the controls that are just located on the left hand side. Now if we take a look underneath the floor here, you'll find some of the floor storage space for some smaller items. And then I'm just going to show you really quickly here, as you can see in the third row you're still able to see the, the, uh, sorry, the DVD player. And then you have the second row captain seats as well. 
as you can see that you have that center console in the second row as well there for yourself if you want to throw some items in there then when you're all finished up all you have to do is hold, uh, sorry, hold down the button for approximately two seconds on the power tailgate and it will close for you automatically making things a lot easier for you when you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids sports bags Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.